Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, Director of Marketing Communications for Cuisinart. This is the Cuisinart Burgrind and Brew Coffee Maker. It has some great features. First of all, we have um, a selector here, which you can select mild, medium, or strong. You select how many cups of coffee you're going to make. I have it set on 12 because I'm going to make 12. It has a grind off feature in case you run out of whole beans. It has a program button, so you can program it to go off at, during any 24-hour period. So if you want to wake up to fresh coffee in the morning, it's fabulous. And then we have our on-off button and our clock. First of all, the first thing you need to do is put your beans in the hopper. And this hopper holds a half pound of whole beans. The other great thing about it is it has a cover, which we're going to put on. It also has a seal, so it seals out the air, so it doesn't affect the um, flavor of your beans. The other thing that's really nice is a little door here, and inside is where um, the coffee after it's ground will be dispensed. Right now I have um, a gold tone cupcake style filter in here. You can use paper filter if you like. Major difference between using a gold tone filter and a paper filter is with the gold tone filter, you have a little more sediment in the bottom of your coffee, and that's what we call more European style coffee. If you use the paper filter, you won't have any sediment in your coffee. Put the little lid right on, close the door. I've already put the water in the reservoir. By using the water window on the side, I can see exactly how much to add. And one other thing I want to um, point out is we have um, a place here to put a charcoal water filter so that um, your coffee um, water is filtered prior to be make, making the coffee and this is the filter here they're um, available online to be replaced um, we recommend that you replace them you know often the other great thing about this is you can set it up like I mentioned to program and go off at a later time or we can just make coffee right away and what's going to happen is the whole beans are going to be ground right before you make your coffee. And the whole point behind that is you're going to get the freshest, most flavorful coffee possible right at home. Also, we have a thermal carafe. The lid comes off really easy. You just line the little two arrows up to put it back on. The nice thing about this is that you don't have to twist and turn the lid after the coffee's made. To just dispense your coffee, you just tip it, and the coffee comes out keeps it hot for about eight hours. So let's make coffee. I'm going to set it to go off right now. Like I said, I, I chose 12 and mild. If you like it medium or strong, like I said, you just press the button and it changes. Then all we do is hit the on button and it's going to make coffee fresh and flavorful for us. It's going to take a second because all of the um, insides are going to get ready to grind. The nice thing about this coffee maker is it uses a burr grinder, so it crushes the beans. It doesn't chop them. And that's really important when you're making great coffee because it will actually treat the beans properly and it will retain all the great flavors for you. It's a great way to make homemade coffee. So our coffee's done. Machine shuts itself off automatically because it's a thermal carafe. And we can, like I said, it holds up to 12 cups, so you can do between 4 and 12 cups. Look how nice that pours out. And it also has a brew pause feature, so if you can't wait until the whole pot's brewed, you can actually take it out. The machine will stop for um, the time that you have the carafe out. You pour your cup of coffee and put it right back in. And there you have it, the freshest, most flavorful coffee possible.